Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for being here. I do appreciate it. Thank you for your likes, your comments, and your subscriptions. What's going on for the soulmates in separation for the collective energy? What does the collective energy need to know? Organize for success. Don't let the word organize intimidate you as it's simply a way for you to ensure clarity of purpose. Organizing your thoughts or your reports or your living and workspace and your finances will help you know and plan your next steps. Successful funding. Your idea is divinely guided and supported by the same infinite wisdom that who of God that gave you the idea. Do not allow money concerns to prevent you from turning it into a reality. Crowdfunding, partnerships, and other investments are available to you. Hmm. Have the courage to ask for it and be willing to receive it. This could be to do with a partnership. Allow healthful, supportive partnerships into your personal life and career. And both parties will benefit as a result. If you are receiving help from heaven and from a person who brings needed skills and resources to your life, take a chance. All positive change and successful adventures involve a degree of risk, and you're ready to follow your divine guidance to new territories. As you leave behind that which is comfortable and familiar, but no longer appropriate for you, you make room for new and meaningful opportunities. going on here spirit lies truth <laughs> boom <laughs> oh boy it was an illusion Somebody has to set up some boundaries. So, abundance. This person's lies have gotten them a bunch of frustrations. So, it's looking like this person could be needing help. The situation looks confusing. We will make sense when you put yourself into the other person's place. Yeah. This person is searching randomly for something. Well, it's time they put themselves in your place. None of the options are available. Look elsewhere. The answers are hidden within words of patience, hopes, willingness, creating, and waiting. A decision should be made on the option that is least desirable hmm. a masculine here is ready to tell the truth about some lies Hmm. 
Drop your shields. Be at peace. Hmm. So exchanging energies to create abundance. Yeah, be devoted and committed. Hmm. Track down your fears and desires. person is strong-willed and very, very stubborn and prideful. Complex situation is unraveling. They're seeing the truth. Like they're not compatible with where they're at, but they're stubborn and something going on here. I think they're tired of putting in the effort. They're experiencing a lot of frustration and a lot of anger. Hmm. Yeah. They had clouded judgment, see? They're sitting there figuring out how you were going to fit in to their plan. Instead of putting themselves in your place, in your shoes. They're sitting there, how am I going to fit this person into my plans? Well, that's not how a relationship works, number one. Just saying, how am I going to fit this relationship into my plans? What about our plans? What about we instead of a I? Not considering how the other person feels. Hmm. Toxic. This person, instead of this new love situation that they got themselves into, is they're pushing each other's buttons. It's very toxic. This person is stubborn. Listening to their damn ass friends. This really... So now this person's hitting loggerheads with the person they're with. Let's see. I expected you to go running back to them so that they could fit you into their plans instead of putting themselves in your shoes, in your place. This person's all about them. I don't hear you in any of these statements. I hear them. I hear a lot of I. How are you going to fit into my plans 
instead of sitting down together and planning both things out. This person, jeez, man. So they've just focused on physical attraction here. This person figured you were playing hard to get because they find it hard to reach you. Well, no, this is a we situation, not a I situation. How are you ever going to be on the same page with anyone? I don't care who it is. If you can't sit down and work out your problems or hash out your ideas, that is what a partnership is. This person's used to having their own way. They're used to everybody accommodating them. You know what I mean? You have to plan your life around their plans, but they never stop to think how it is affecting your life, your plans, your situations. It's like, how am I going to fit you in here? Like, I got a life here. Uh, you know, I, I've got family. I've got friends. I've got this. I've got that. Never even once thinking, well, what's going on with the collective? What is their life like? How can we make this work? No, it's their way or the highway type of attitude. I'm sorry it is. There it is. Lack of flexibility. <sighs> hmm says lack in, in intelligences. The way this person thinks, okay, they're going through that with whoever they're with. I don't know. what it is. It's called communication. What do you think? The collective's a mind reader. I am a tarot card reader and even some days I struggle with this energy. I really have a hard time understanding how this energy thinks. Because to have a partnership you need to communicate. You need to honest communication. Both sides, sitting down, talking, hard heart conversations. What the hell? Yeah, they're stubborn. They're just like my way or the, like they're a good enough person. The masculine that I am reading for so far in the read they look at their life their things their way this person likes to control the ball how things go down how things are played out They look at things like, I was betrayed, I was gossiped about, I was backstabbed, I am going through pain, without seeing the pain they caused you. It's selfish. It's arrogant. They're the poor me. I lost my wish fulfillment. 
well, where are you in any of this read? Where are you in any of this? They're looking at their wish fulfillment, their wishes. I was betrayed. I was left out in the cold. But it was their actions, you know. What were you committed to, Spirit says. Really? Were you committed to fulfilling your wishes? Or you were you fulfilled having your own wishes come true? If all you do is focus in on your money and your friends and juggling and can't make a decision and now your heart broke at the decision that you made, that in itself is a form of manipulation. Like I said, they prayed to have someone like you. They wished to have someone like you. Spirit came, granted this wish. Okay? But this person does not like change. They don't want to be flexible. They got a schedule. They got their friend group. They got their family. They, got, they don't want to hurt their family. They don't want to hurt their friends. It's all about, I come first, you come second. Holding on to this, I don't know. It's their karma. what they're doing crying over spilt milk I lost my love I I I I Just hold back their feelings. Break their promises. Well, I guess, you know, they just squeezed you out of the picture. <laughs> Me, myself, and I. Me, myself, my money, my friends, my family. Me, myself, and I. Did they make room for love? How much? They should have given you this. Instead, they give you a little baby ass cup. Just enough to keep you going. That's the truth. They thought you'd be back. Well, where do, where does this temperance angel fit into my life? I mean, where are they going to fit in? This is a me, me, me. I, I, I. Where's the we? <laughs> How are you going to have a relationship doing that? Oh, well, I got my friends and I got my family and I got my job and I got to work on this and I got to have time for that. Where does exactly that? Where do you fit in? Track down their own fears. That's their own fears, their own worries, their own insecurities. That's self-sabotage. Keep you worrying, keep you wondering, where do I fit in? Will I fit in? Um, why, why? Will I fit into this person's plans? Because they're always busy. 
They're always dealing. They got time to drink. They got time to party. They got time for their friends. They got time for their family. They got time for all these other activities. But did they ever just sit down and have a heart to heart with you? Oh, I have responsibilities. I have commitments. I am this main person here. Well, you know, you probably told this person, I want to talk. Let's talk. Where do I fit into your plans? I mean, I love you, but I'm always stressing out. I'm always worrying. You've got me worrying. Where do I fit in? Do I belong with you? Do I not belong with you? You know, you probably told this person, look, we need to talk. If you are going to busy be listening to a karmic, listening to what your family says, listening to what your friends say, listening to what everybody else says, where do I fit in? I'm always alone. <laughs> I'm here. And now they're angry and resentful because they couldn't even make up their own mind. They couldn't make a decision and you did. You know, you either work together as a team, but this person is like all, there's only one person there. Me, 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 me. I, I, I. I got work to do. I got family to take care of. I got responsibilities to look after. Na, 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 na. No, the truth is, is that they were hiding from their own fears, their own issues, okay? And now they're freaking angry that you took the bull by the horns, said, okay, I mean, let's talk. I love you. Let's figure out a plan. Instead, they sit over here making their own freaking plans. Me, 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 I, I, I. Well, where are they going to fit in to my lifestyle? Well, shouldn't you have thought about that? Seriously? What do you think a heart-to-heart -heart conversation is? If you love somebody... You don't sit down and make your own damn plans. You sit down together and make plans together. They get all puffy, you know, and all puffy and how dare you talk to me that way and, and whatever. They're just a fool. Just sorry. They had their happiness. You know what I mean? And then they, you know, they just go, sitting here thinking about making plans. By itself. <laughs> thinking about you. They loved you. Thought of you as the Empress. You're confident. You're single. You're available. You're loving. You're nurturing. You're patient. You waited. You made this person feel loved. You made this person feel good. What the hell else do you want? Spying on you. Sneakily. You know, sneaking around. You knew it. That's what caused the separation. What's this, uh, text messaging all about. Oh, hi. 
Hi, soulmate. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't talk right now. I gotta go talk to my friends. Click. I'm sorry. Can I call you later? I gotta go talk to my family. Click. On hold. On hold. On hold. Because they're a player. That's why they were slowing down. They had other options. They were lying. They could have made you feel like it was all in your head. It's all in your imagination. You're just making shit up. I, I don't know if I have, can fit you into my lifestyle. Family. I don't want to make my friends angry. I don't want to make my family angry. I, 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 I excuses. Sorry. They were giving to two. Sorry. They caused their own tower. They did. Stagnancy. Not willing to be flexible. Not willing to even sit down and have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. What the hell do you have to work with? They never once put themselves in your place, in your shoes. Oh, let's have this conversation. Oh, quick, I gotta go. I got things to do. I got people to talk to and places to be. I don't have time for conversation. I don't have time to sit and worry about what you want when I know what I want. They were unfair. That's what ended this cycle. And that is what is going to end the cycle with whoever they go to. Because they're too afraid to have a relationship, quite honestly. Worried what other people think. What will people say at work? What will people, what will my family say? What will my friends say? What will this one say? What is, you know, they were juggling. People who are going to be in my life will have to adapt to me and my needs and my wants. Jason Clout. That's the truth. That's who they chose. Someone chasing clout. And committed to them based on ego. My way or the highway? Well, if this one wants to settle for that, now that it seems like they're fighting and arguing over here and arguing about the same issues that they had when they were with you and the same issues that they had with any prior people, there's a common denominator. It's them. They're cold. They're detached, emotionally unavailable. Somebody else wants to put up with that crap, let him be. But it's not because this new person is getting bread breadcrumbed. They don't pay them attention. They come in. They're fighting and arguing about the same issues that you used to fight and argue about. They listen to their family. They got someone in their family 
who they go to for advice instead of going to this person. That's their karma. Now they're angry. That things are over with you. That they got all these responsibilities. They're angry that they they shouldn't have trusted this one. They shouldn't have th did this. They shouldn't have did this. All these people trying to rile this person up and say, don't trust the collective. They're saying the same shit about the karmic. Come on. People want to control this person. And quite real, this person has allowed themselves to be controlled. Why? They're too chicken shit to stand up. And until they do, that's their issue. They're self-centered. I'm, I'm sorry, they are. It's all about them. What looks good for me? What looks good for me? What makes me look popular? What makes me look good? I don't like it. So I don't care if they have 50 relationships. The only reason you're together is for finances or something wrong with your head. Because sooner or later, someone will cheat. There's no emotional relationship there. None. I don't know. This person listens to the advice of Anybody and anything. And quite honestly, they're afraid that if they came back to you that you would do to them what they did to you. This person got to be honest with themselves, okay? What is the current situation this person is going through right now with the karmic? Defensiveness, lies, things that are hidden, keeping things to themselves, depressed, lonely, gaslighting. I mean, this person, eh. fighting and arguing. They just have blinders on. They're detached. They're just emotionally shut down. Just like they were to you.
Now they're hurt because they're finding out about a family betrayal. Money. A lot of these people are turning their backs on, uh, they don't even want to hear this person anymore. People in their family know that this person rejected you. People in their inner circle know that this person rejected you for someone else, was lying to you, hiding things from you. They know. They know that you're honest. They know that you spoke the truth. They know who you are. And they know that this person has done this to themselves. They hung them on themselves when they hooked up with this other person. It was a trap. This other lover, it's karma. And it's going to lead to a separation anyway. Because the whole thing is a fantasy, an illusion. They cannot trust and it's going to end. This person needs to heal. This is their karma. Hmm. I think this person resents you healing. I honestly do. I think this, this bothers them a lot because they're heavily burdened. And I think they're angry at all the burdens that they have. And I think in a way they're angry at themselves think that they're angry at the karmic really angry at the karmic but they're angry at you too because why you're over here confident taking the lead being independent being abundant as hell and they feel lonely depressed cold detached narcissistic over here they're turning this per person is turning colder and colder and colder this is narcissistic energy right here cold detached bitter angry and resentful that's the truth Angry at being trapped. Trapped in a situation that was their second choice. Wasting their time. Okay? They know they are. Their intuition is telling them. But most of all, they're angry at themselves because they didn't listen to their intuition. <laughs> Spying on you, seeing you happy, being blessed, taking your power back, and now they sit and cry over spilt milk, crying in their beer or their drinks. Stressed out, <coughs> sleepless nights. They have manifested their own tower. That is what they have manifested by dragging their ass. <clears throat> I don't know. Sexual gratification, I guess. That's where they want to be with you. <clears throat> Their soulmate. Mm. 
うんうんうん。わあ。looks like they committed to the karmic. They're being made a fool of because someone is either your person's cheating on the karmic or the karmic is cheating on them. Because they're in it for passion, that's it. This person's in love with you. A marriage or a commitment based on finances. That's why spirits taking their money away, and that's why they're so freaking angry. What do you got left? Take the money out of the equation. What's left? This person is not open about their emotions. They're not, they're closed off to their emotions or closed off to their feelings. Take the sex out of it. Take the money out of it. What is left? Yeah, then they go missing the love. You know what I mean? person annoys me. They spy on you. <coughs> Looking at your happiness, you know, seeing you abundant, still loving, still nurturing. You know what I mean? And that stresses them out because they're in a very stressful situation. Longing for their soulmate. Time they face their shadow. This person is still immature. Still giving to two. Still looking to be recognized. Doing things in secret. I'm telling you. That situation is headed straight toward a tower an ending because there is nobody in their right mind who's going to stay in a re loveless relationship with somebody having sex with somebody else and there is no money involved take care